No bathtubs were harmed during the filming of this video. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing something interesting that I've never done before. I'm really excited to try making bath bombs. And not just any type of bath bombs, stress relieving bath bombs. Now as we're going through the back to school season, I thought, hey, what is something that I could do for my viewers and subscribers to help them de-stress and really prepare for this next year coming ahead of them? One of the things that came to mind was bath bombs. Now, taking baths are pretty, you know, relaxing to me. So I thought that you guys might enjoy me making a specifically stress-relieving bath bomb. So let's do it. Okay, now here's the catch. I looked up the actual recipe for bath bombs and it was like three pages long full of like 20 different types of bath salts that I had no idea where to find. Probably at like an organic store downtown, but like who has time for that? Like, so I thought, you know what? Let's make a real DIY bath bomb with just things found in my kitchen and just house. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a DIY stress relieving bath bomb with stuff that you probably have in your house. So let's get to it. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna need a bowl. So to put all your ingredients in and get your bath bomb going. Second thing you're gonna need is baking powder. Doesn't matter what kind of baking powder, just as long as baking powder. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna put in there. I have two thirds of a cup right here, so I'll probably use that. So I just have two thirds of a cup of baking powder with me, just to make like a small, medium-ish sized bath bomb, but if you wanna make it bigger, go ahead. I won't stop you, so. Pour that in there. Mm. So next thing I thought of when I was thinking of this stress relieving bath bomb was tea because tea is known to be very soothing and calming so I thought that would be a really big part of a stress relieving bath bomb. So I got this little bag of tea and the cool thing about this is that it changes your water like really deep red purplish color so I thought that would be neat because you know all the bath bombs you see they have like nice pretty colors so killing two birds with one stone here. So just mix that and also a lot of bath bombs I see they have like little rose petals and crap in them to like make you feel luxurious and beautiful and pampered. So I thought you know like the little loose tea stuff would help you really get that nice luxurious flowery feel so yeah. Okay, the next thing that I thought of when I thought of stress relief was chocolate because I mean who doesn't love chocolate? I got a bag of chocolate chips because, you know, chocolate is just what I like to eat when I'm feeling stressed. So, I mean, might as well put it in our bath bomb, right? So, we're just getting like a couple little drops in there. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a really good bath bomb, you guys. So, then you just want to like mix that up there. Oh, yeah. Professional. The next part of this bath bomb is to incorporate something that you love. Because stress relief is all about... Finding something that works for you and makes you happy. So, what makes me happy? My phone! But there is no way in heck that I was going to actually put my phone in a tub of water. So I made a little printed copy of it. And yes, I know, it looks kind of weird because my printer ran out of black ink while I was printing it. So, I had to improvise on that one. It's like, put whatever you love in there. It can be a phone, it could be food, it could be your dog it, it could be anything the reason why i'm putting my phone in here is because i mean there's so much that your phone can do you know you can listen to music you can read books you can share pictures with your friends you know it's just a really good time so i'm putting my phone in my bath bomb so there you go the last step of this bath bomb is to incorporate an oil of some sort you know when i was reading the ingredients for the actual bath bombs it said like essential peppermint oils and coconut oils and yeah, I, 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 I don't know. So I just got a big jar of coconut oil and we're gonna dump that in there and it's gonna be a great time. I'm just gonna get like a spoon full of coconut oil. Coconut oil is good for your skin, right? So like, yeah, this is perfect. So just dump that in there. Now we need to mix. Well, I, I, I don't really know how I'm gonna do this, to be quite honest with you. Um, I'm just gonna do it with my hands and form it into a ball of bath bomb. This feels very nasty, very wrong. Oh no, this is a mistake. This is a big mistake. Oh, this is a mistake. So I'm just gonna like mix that together and 
I tried to make it into a bowl, but no, it's not gonna happen. So you know what? Since this is true DIY, you don't need to even make it look like the original bath bomb or else your fingers will look like this. So I'm just gonna wash that off real quick and then we'll get to putting it in a bathtub. Okay guys, so once you finally have your, all your stuff together in a bowl that looks kind of something like this, we're gonna put it in our bathtub. <laughs> Okay, now I'm a little afraid to put this in my bathtub, to be quite honest with you, so we're just gonna simulate that by putting it in a bowl in my bathtub, so um, you can kind of get the little effect of what's going on without me ruining my drain, so let's go do that. Okay guys, the moment of truth, we have our bath bowl and our little baby bathtub, so let's pour this stuff in and see what happens. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Is something happening? Something's happening. It's fizzing a lot and it looks really weird. Oh my gosh. It actually smells really good. Is that weird? I think it's the tea. Oh my gosh. It looks very nasty, but it smells delicious. So I just got like a little spoon. We're just gonna mix our little bath bomb in here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of turning like a little bit purple. I don't know. I think it's from the tea, but... It's very faint, but you can definitely see that there's some color change. Okay guys, here she is, your bath bomb. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but it's kind of purple. It's I'm not just crazy, right? It's actually a little bit purple because of the tea. I'm a genius. So there you guys go, that was me attempting to make a bath bomb. Call me crazy, but I think it actually kind of worked. I mean. It's disgusting, and I would never actually want to bathe in it, but it smells really good. I'm not kidding. It smells good. The tea that I added in there, by the way, is called acai green tea. So it kind of smells like acai, and the coconut oil also kind of makes it smell a little bit tropical. So I think I, I'm actually onto something. I mean, maybe the chocolate was a little bit of a reach, but everything else, I mean, smells pretty good. Um, I don't know. I think I actually did a good job. Uh, comment down below if you think I did a good job. And also like this video because I really don't know. Please just, yeah. If you guys want to make your own bath bomb, feel free to and take a picture of them, take a video of them, tag me in it, show me all your lovely stress relieving bath bombs because I can't wait to see this and I can't wait to see who actually is crazy enough to do this like I am. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hey, what is something that I could do for my viewers and subscribe?